now we can move over to the plus model. Uh, we actually have two models that are similar. They're virtually identical. This is the plus model and there's a core. Again, there's no difference from the outside. We'll get to the differences once we get to the control pack on the back. Uh, very similar design as the Pro. We have the gimbal here, same unibody assembly, same laser housing assembly. Uh, the difference is this is an ADM only tracker as well as it's a battery pack, so it's wirelessly powered. There's no need to have a control box or plug it in. It's all built right into the laser head. Again, we have a home position here, or bird's nest as they call it, and it houses the three different SMRs that are industry standard. We have the inch and a half SMR, we have a nesting point for a seven ace SMR, and then a half inch SMR. Um, a little bit more about the laser housing assemblies. The components that are built inside of this is the unibody laser assembly. Uh, it's all compact and it's all in one place. And some advantages of that is that the thermal control that we can get inside that laser assembly is quick and controlled. So our warm-up times definitely are industry leading uh, with the ADM two to five minutes, sometimes right away. Uh, and then the Pro needs a little bit more time to get that helium neon laser uh, up to thermal stability. So we can see 10 to 20 minutes out of that on a warm up time. Another unique feature out of these is these camera systems that are built into the top of it that we've named iVision. So this allows you to not have to grab the beam in outer space, the camera will see it and automatically lock onto the SMR. So the way that that camera works, it's a 30 degree cone that comes out of that laser eye. So the farther you are away, the more you can see it. It also is an automatic adjusting auto exposure in that camera. So if you're in a well lit area, a dark area, even outside, it learns that exposure and adjusts as you go. So again, like I said, the plus and the core are ADM only. Uh, what you see is all that you have with it. Um, there's no control box. The battery pack will last anywhere from four to eight hours, depending on how much usage it has. Uh, but we do ship these with an external battery. So if you have a eight plus hour day, you can actually run it until these meters go down low and then plug in the external battery and use the tracker while it's charging. So it allows a full day of work without having to plug into any outlet in the wall. So as I turn the tracker around, we see a control pack similar to what we had on the Pro's control box. Uh, and I'm gonna explain some of the differences here. Uh, number one, we have a ethernet port to plug into your computer, or we can go through a Wi-Fi network. Uh, we do include a Wi-Fi switch on the side. Uh, we, there are some projects where it's a military program and we're not allowed to broadcast Wi-Fi so we can physically switch it to show them and then we just Ethernet in to communicate with the computer. Um, the wireless 2 it's always impressed me because uh, all you have to do the same way you click on any network is just find it. it should be AP underscore in the serial number of the tracker and it connects instantly. Uh, as we go to the center of the control box, we have our I.O. for battery for charging, power switch. So right here we have a TTL port, which is an external trigger port. And this can externally go to a CNC controller, robot controller, or a custom external trigger controller you make. As we go left, we have a physical accessory port, which goes to some of our devices like our smart track sensor which is a six off sensor that you would put on like an end effector of a robot. And then as it moves and measures, it's measuring angle, rotation, and position as well. We also have a device called an iScan 3D that's about to be released that uh, will be corded and that'll allow non-contact scanning and probing. Above it, we do have a second antenna it's a little bit bigger because this would go to our devices like the V-Probe for wireless probe control. And as we go to the left, this little piece is our temperature sensor. So just like on the Pro, we had a weather sensor. This is all we need to measure the environment for the laser to know how to move that beam through the air. 
So the only difference between the plus and the core is these accessory ports on the left aren't there. So basically same tracker, uh, the only differences will be the Plus can control those accessories like the Smart Track sensor, the iScan 3D, and the VPro. And now we'll go over the Radium Plus kit. Again, it's a watertight case, very protective of all the equipment. It travels really, really well. Obviously, we have the laser tracker here. We have a charging cable for the tracker and a protective hood for it. I also have an ethernet cable in here. Um, if you go with a V-probe accessory, there's a spot here for the V-probe. If you don't get one, you can obviously put a lot of tooling, um, glue gun, any kind of accessories in there. It also fits the first generation of V-probe. We have two V-probe standard probes here, 50 mil and 100 mil. We have a uh, certification papers. We have our battery backup for the laser tracker, as well as a charger for that. And then we have the cable that will plug the battery backup into the back of the laser tracker. If you go with the V-Probe, we do it, ship it with extra batteries and a charging case. So you get about two and a half times the amount of charge it ships with, with the batteries inside of it. We also supply a physical level for when you're running gravity. We have USBs uh, that have OmniCal on it for calibration, as well as a USB for any parameter files or documentation for the V-Probe. Then the kit does deliver with one inch and a half SMR. We have our weather cable here. <clears throat> then we have two antennas back here. This is the larger one for the V-Probe. And then a smaller one to connect to the tracker through Wi-Fi. Again, very protective case with the handle for transport.